Now, if you're looking for something a little different to do with the kids this summer, how about this? Being locked inside of the Sheriff of Nottingham's dungeon. It's right here at Wheelgate Park in Mansfield, and trust me, it's not as scary as it sounds. This is the Sheriff of Nottingham's dungeon, or to be precise, it's our mock-up of the Sheriff of Nottingham's dungeon. It isn't actually the Sheriff of Nottingham's dungeon. This, this is a, a game that is for um, families, for children and adults, and it's a, you have one hour to find your way out of the Sheriff of Nottingham's dungeon. There are little puzzles and little clues that you have to find. There are some things that are hidden that you have to find, in other words, you have to scavenge for uh, maybe a key or two, you never know, and then you have the at the end of your hour, you have to try and escape from the Sheriff of Nottingham. So the aim of the game is obviously to get from one room to the next and find your way to the final room, which is where the Sheriff's treasure is hidden. And you might even be lucky enough to leave with some loot. How do I get out of here? Give me Give me, give me all your money, 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 don't you think it's funny? Originally it started with thinking in China in the Far East. Now this, this kind of game, um, if you don't have any money to spend, this is the kind of game that you can actually do in your own um, kitchen or living room or the garage maybe. And so you can, you can hide all the clues throughout the garage and you can invite friends around and that's pretty much how it started in the Far East. Um, it, it, it went to Canada about two years ago and they have become really big on it. Some of them are very sophisticated and then it spread to the States shortly after that and it came to this country I think it's about 12 months ago. So it, it's really in, in the Western Hemisphere, it, it's not been here that long. Actually there's a, there's a lot in Eastern Europe as well. So if you do fancy a trip to the dungeon, hopefully you'll fare a little bit better than I did. Looks like I'm staying the night. Ian Chambers for the 6.30 show.